Hey everyone, welcome to a very quick install guide on how to put MinUI and Retro Game Cores add-ons for the GKD Pixel. In the description of this video, there's a link to my notes on my website. Please follow this video with those comprehensive notes. So start there by clicking on the links to MinUI and Russ's add-ons. Then what you want to do is pre-populate the ROMs and the BIOS folders. So here I am on the right hand side going to my ROMs folders and I'm dragging all those ROMs over. You would just repeat this for each system and just by the way also do this for uh, Russ's add-ons later on which I, I won't show you at that point of the tutorial. Here I am just adding some PS1 games. These are bin.q folders. Bin.q folders will work on here. I'm not sure if .chd games will work on here, but the thing is Russ's emulator doesn't work with them. So I would rather just avoid those because then you're going to run into confusion later on if you try to move a game over to Russ's system and then it doesn't work. Here I am adding the BIOS files. You can check in my notes what BIOS files go for which device, uh, which system. And then we just take the SD card um, from the device. Now there's a few little quirks here. I'm using my handy dandy SD card reader and dragging that over to the computer. And on the right hand side, you'll see my SD card. And here I am dragging the zipped menu I thing to the root of your ROMs partition. Now you want to drag the BIOS folder, the GKD pixel folder, and the ROMs folder over. And if it asks you to overwrite anything, let it overwrite. There we go. Now, organizing your ROMs can get tricky at this point, but what I actually did is I deleted all the ROMs that came with the GKD Pixel and I just started afresh with the system. That's a bit extreme. You could take the ROMs that came with your GKD Pixel and move them over into the folders um, that were created for um, MinUI and then maybe delete the folders that came with the GKD Pixel, the ROM folders, just to keep it neat because it, it gets a bit messy in there. Now we put the SD card back in the device. Now we need to install MinUI. So you go to your file manager and you find the media ROMs folder and you find the install.sh file, tap on it, click on it, and then say execute, and now it will install MinUI. And there we go. So it's gonna pick up on the new ROMs folder. So like I said, you can delete the old ROMs folders, maybe move some of the ROMs that you wanna keep from GKD onto your new ROMs folders for MinUI. But yeah, that's it. And uh, the menu button works. So it's so nice that this custom firmware uses the buttons as they were intended. And when you go into a game, it's got the in-game menu, which is really nice for saves and all that it works um, with RetroArch. Okay, now we're hopping back to the computer and we're gonna do Russ's thing. So there's Russ's add-ons. We literally just drag his folders over. Like I said, pre-populate his ROMs folder. He doesn't have a BIOS folder, but uh, pre-populate his ROMs folder uh, with the ROMs you want. And then check out his README. So um, he's added some systems and he's given us the ability to move certain ROMs, if they're problematic, over to a folder so that they will play uh, with the standalone emulator. So it is a little bit of a tweak and a little bit of a, a, a tinkerer's thing. So this isn't for you know end users, but um, if you are a tinkerer and you don't have a problem with that, then you can go for it. And then he's also added some extra features here for us. So let's just start up Russ's system. And if you go here into the main menu, you'll see there's a tools menu. Uh, we'll go down to tools, let's open the tools. Uh, we've got the music player and we've got MAME and we've got the ability to go back to, to the original. So that's it. So check out my notes for any more details that you might want, but this is just to get you started and get you going. Russ has given us a lot more functionality, which I'm very grateful for. So go check out the README when you do download that. Personally, I feel like I can finally use the device. I feel like this is finally my device because I was testing it with the stock OS and it just didn't feel right. This feels like home and it feels great. So even without Russ's add-on, MinUI just makes this device feel complete. In my review, I said the hardware is just as good as the software is bad. And now MinUI brings that all together. It's only really let down now by its lackluster screen. Once again, the community has saved a device. This device with MinUI is 
really special and you can expect a three month later review of this device because this is definitely going into my personal rotation and I'm going to play finally Darkwing Duck for Game Boy all the way through on this little device.